Good afternoon, Jaguars. I'm Ellie Sealing. And I'm Cassie Sealing. We're your anchors again for today's show. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of missing high school volleyball. Me too. I can't stop thinking about how good of a season we had. Well, perfect timing. Our first story is a review of fall sports. Really? Yep. Let's have Alexis Alfaro tell us more with a story on fall sports. I'm currently outside the Jefferson High School turf where this fall, two major fall activities took place. With winter sports right around the corner, it got me wondering, how did the fall sports season pan out? What can we learn from it? And what are their opinions? I asked three major fall sports players their opinions on the fall sports season. To start off, I asked the players, how did the season go? I played varsity soccer for Jefferson this year, and this season was way different for us. This season, we had zero COVID cases, which is good, but we didn't win a lot of games. Um, we ended up going 13-1, and one, and it was a very overall effective season for all of us. It's a lot different because of all the COVID protocols, so we had to adapt from that. But the season was still a lot of fun. We did good. We played less games because of COVID. We only played six games, but it was still a lot of fun. Next, I asked our players, how was this season different from other seasons? This season was a lot different due to COVID. We had to wear masks and socially distance on the benches. We had zero buses to get to the games, which made it kind of hard for some people. We had to wear masks when we warm up, but we didn't have to wear it when we played. We couldn't shake hands with the other teams before or after the game, so we would just wave at them. The season started later due to COVID, so we played in a lot colder weather and we played in snow. We practiced in snow and we were just all bundled up. Lastly, I asked, why was it important for the season to play out? It was very important for us to stay COVID free and keep the season going through all the hard times. We were able to push through and have a great season. I feel like all the seniors really needed this season to, to kind of finish our senior experience with sports at, at our school. A lot of players needed it. They needed to get out of the house and just have, have fun. Thanks, you 3 Remember to wear a mask so fall sports can play, take place next season so winter sports can take place as well. This has been Alexa Far reporting for Jaguar Spots. Fall sports are so lucky they got to have a season. Yeah, even though their seasons were a little different this year, the players made the most of it. There were many precautions taken to make sure the athletes stayed healthy. Those same precautions are being used in winter sports as well. Let's find out how Highland is handling this pandemic from Saul Gaska. We interviewed some ski instructors to gather some information. Here's what we gathered. I'm with Kendall Porter and Ella Bloomquist, both ski instructors for Highland Hills. So Kendall, let me start off with you first. What are the changes that have happened to Highland during these COVID-19 guidelines? Sure, so everyone has to wear masks in the lift lines, going out the lifts, all around. And then also for our group lessons, it's limited to three households and one instructor. So yeah, we're staying pretty safe. Very nice. Ella, are there more or less people coming to Highland now due to COVID? Um, I would say there's more people now because it's something to do and everyone just wants to get outside. Awesome. Now both of you, do you guys like working at Highland? Yes, yes. it's super fun. <laughs> super fun. <laughs> Highland Hills will be closing around early March, so be sure to get out there and enjoy some fresh air while you can. This has been Saul Gasker reporting for Jack Spots. Thank you. Wow, that's great that Highland is open even during the pandemic. Yeah, I'm glad the ski instructors are being leaders in helping everyone stay safe. You know who else is a leader? Juma Waganda. She's our student shout out this week. Let's hear more about her from Kristen Kirshner with a student shout out on Juma Waganda. This week's student shout out goes to Juma Waganda. Juma adds a lot to Jefferson with her positive personality. You may know she is also a part of our student council. So we asked some of Juma's friends to find out more. Juma definitely deserves a shout out because she's easily one of the hardest working students at Jefferson. She's involved with so much and puts her all into everything she does. 
People like Juma because of how kind and outgoing she is and how she'll always make everyone feel super welcome and included. Some words to describe Juma are driven, determined, and kind-hearted. People really like Juma because she always puts other people in front of herself and always has an open ear whenever someone feels they need to be heard. Juma is considerate, outgoing, and creative. I think Juma deserves a student shout out because she has been an amazing leader throughout this pandemic, especially in student council. I think Juma deserves a student shout out because she is a leader outside and inside of school. She supports various movements like the Black Lives Matters movement. Um, she, I know she helped organize peaceful protests for that, but she just makes Bloomington um, a better community and place to live in. Things people like about Juma, she's a she's a very kind person. I can't say I recall her ever like ever seeing her be mean or do anything that I wouldn't say like, oh, that's a great person. Like she's honestly just an all around great person. Um, I know she started her own like um, photography like company and that's going well. So she's just an all around great person. Words that describe Juma are she's very kind and also very respectful and hardworking. Thanks for being such a positive example, Juma. This has been Kristen Kirshner reporting for Jaguar Spots. Thanks, Kristen. You know, they should make a National Juma Day. I agree, but it does seem like there's a national day for everything. Do you know what tomorrow is? What? National Dress Up Your Pet Day. No way, really? I'm so excited to see all the pet costumes. Me too. Stay tuned for the credits if you need some ideas for your pet's costume. This has been Cassie Sealing and Ellie Sealing for Jaguar Spots. See, see you next time, Jags! Jags.